Next tonight, a major campaign to reduce VAT on hotels and attractions to 5% has begun to help the southwest tourism industry. It's backed by local businesses and many of our MPs. Some European countries offer a much lower rate of tax, which means it's often cheaper to holiday abroad than stay here. Seth Conway reports. The message from the region's tourist businesses is clear to government today. It's time to stop hoovering up so much tax from one of our core industries. VAT on hotel rooms and tourist attractions is charged at the standard 20% here, but in Europe it can be as low as 5%. The evidence from overseas is, is overwhelming that where this measure has been adopted, it's been successful. We stand out in Europe not having done it, but the French have generated 50,000 extra jobs, the Germans about 50,000 extra, the Irish likewise. The evidence elsewhere where it's been done over the last three years is very, very powerful. But the Treasury is wary of getting its fingers burnt. If put in place, it would cost £2 billion in lost revenue. But the government accepts that after the second year, the return for the Chancellor actually goes up through increased sales of standard VAT goods bought by the increased number of visitors. The equation is a simple one for the leisure and hospitality trade. A significant cut in VAT would see prices fall, thereby encouraging more people to come and visit. And with more people coming through the doors, employment would go up and more money then in wages would be spread around the entire economy. The campaign has today won the backing of Britain's best-selling newspaper in its traditionally understated manner and has cross-party political support. It make a huge difference to uh, the amount of young people that we can employ uh, in businesses over this summer and I think it will go a long way to reward families for the hard work that uh, people have put in over the last four years. The Milky Way Adventure Park in North Devon celebrates its 30th birthday tomorrow. They would be jumping for joy were a VAT cut to put the region on a level playing field with mainland Europe. They're taking business from us, so they're taking money out of the economy. Uh, we have to compete. It's a competitive world. You only have to look at any newspaper, national newspaper, any day of the week to see how hard the rest of the world is actually competing to take our business away from us. This business reinvests year on year. It now wants the government to do likewise and back this tourism campaign. Seth Conway, ITV News. Bob, we can cross live now to our political correspondent, Bob Constantine, who's in Westminster for us. So, Bob, how well has this campaign been received in Parliament? Well, it's, uh, Katie, it's, it's, it's an argument really that's never quite gone away. It's been bubbling under the surface for a long time, and one MP said he'd first raised it 15 years ago. So it may not have made much progress, but it's never gone away either. And uh, an early day motion, a, a device for testing its support among MPs, has attracted the support of 42, which doesn't sound very many, but they are cross-party, and this is a campaign that's being supported as well in the nations of Scotland, Wales and Northern Ireland. And the man behind the campaign, who runs holiday cottages in Somerset, incidentally, says its time has now come. Competitive pressures are growing all the time. We have the economy coming back more strongly again. We have the pound increasing in strength. I believe that pressure is really going to be on our tourism sector. So now is really the time that we should be competitive with our European neighbours. Uh, realistically, though, Bob, what really are the chances of this happening? Well, I have to say the omens aren't particularly good because, as I indicated, this is a campaign that's been going on for quite a while without really making much progress. Now, this is an area, uh, VAT on tourism attractions and accommodation, where the government does have discretion to lower the rate, as other companies, countries have done, but has chosen not to do so. Because, as Seth indicated in his report, it feels that the initial loss to the economy, which would have to be covered by borrowing, would simply be too great. But the support of the Sun newspaper won't half help in raising awareness of the issue and the cynic in me says if you keep to get up as well we might see some progress uh, we'll have to see won't we uh, bob in westminster thank you very much indeed